guys welcome back to my channel I hope all of you are doing well and have been enjoying your weekends and are ready for well almost the beginning of March I know it seems really crazy that it's almost like the third month into 2017 but hey it is so here we are um, today I'm talking about something a little more serious than I normally talk about but I'm actually really excited because this is my first legitimate um, like agriculture video so that's exciting. So it might be kind of boring for some of you who just want to see, like, you know, the other stuff. But, um, this is something really serious and something that you should be aware of, in my opinion. Especially since all of us do consume things like corn and soybeans. I'm actually going to be talking about grain bin safety. Um, last week was actually Grain Bin Safety Week, so there were some like, hashtags on Twitter going on. And since I am an ag communication student, I do kind of follow what's going on in the ag community on social media because that's like what I want to do with my life is do social media to talk about ag. So it's really exciting. But basically, I just kind of wanted to put together a little video that talks about Grain Bin Safety, what it is, and why it's important to people like us who aren't on a farm. Just throwing this out there again, in case you don't know, I did not grow up around agriculture, so sometimes I I just don't know because I didn't grow up in that environment, but I'm still in the industry and I'm learning and I'm going to help, you know, tell the story of agriculture as I go through school. Sorry, my hair is really bothering me today. The basic thing that I need to start out with is the terminology and the difference between a silo, a grain bin, and a grain elevator because you may interchange those things and they are pretty similar but there are some differences that you should be aware of and I'll just put that out there right now. Um, so, a grain bin is usually a metal cylinder storage unit that you will see driving by and I'll insert pictures and all sorts of things so that you can like follow. Essentially, a grain bin is like the metal storage unit that holds either basically corn or soybeans typically. Um, so they're like the big round grain bins. That's just what they are. And then a silo is typically a lot taller and is usually made out of another material that's a lot stronger so it may be something like concrete. And the reason that it needs to have a stronger material is because silos actually hold fermenting um, grains or things such as silage so the moisture content is a little bit higher so it needs to have a better sturdier material to be holding those products. And then the final thing is a grain elevator. And a grain elevator is essentially the facility for storing grain. So a lot of farmers right after harvest will load up their semis with their corn or soybeans and they will take that to a grain elevator which then they will empty all of their stuff from their semi into usually a grain bin will be then into the grain elevator system. So you may see things like if you drive by a rural area and you're driving down a country road and you see like a lot of grain bins all together and you see like these little contraptions that connect each other, well those are like the elevator things so they can actually move um, with augers that can take one material and move it to another storage unit and then ship it off and things. So a grain elevator is just all of that kind of combined and like the actual facility that the farmer will take their harvested crop to to sell and then it goes and distributes to places to be made into whatever it's going to be made into. So those are kind of the general terminology that you may need to know. But the main chunk of this video is actually going to be the grain bin simulator that I got to witness last semester. It was it was interesting because again I hadn't grown up around it and it's just a very serious thing. There are a lot of injuries and deaths that are involved with grain bin accidents. In 2014 there were 38 entrapments and 17 deaths um, in the US just from grain bin problems and I'm sure there are a lot more that were unrecorded and it's just it's a very real thing and it's something that we need to be aware of because we're consuming those products and I think it's important for consumers to understand how much work and effort and just how much goes into the products that are being made for consumption or even ethanol and food production as well with livestock 
So there's just a lot that goes into it and it can, there's some aspects that are kind of scary because, you know, farmers and producers and just people who work on the farm itself have to be able to keep things up and running. So grain bins have things called augers which help to, you know, move, move the material in and out of the storage unit. So those augers are pretty powerful because they have to get those substances moving and they need to be functioning. So there are a lot of times that workers will have to enter a bin to make sure that those augers are functioning. There might be something stuck in them. Um, they also may have to clean an empty bin when things are in, uh, when things are in between harvest and there's just a lot of dust and debris and things and it's just really dangerous to go into a grain bin in general. Um, and there have been incidents, of course, with actual workers on a farm who have been entrapped in corn or beans and they can't get out and they, they die. Um, and it's just really scary to think about because there are so many farm families that they have to be running their business and they have to keep it up and running, but there's such a huge risk if they don't take the correct precautions. So this grain bin simulator actually allowed students to experience what it's like to become entrapped in a grain bin. It's amazing to see how quickly it can happen and how quickly it does happen out in the field. Um, so this fellow student of mine, I'm not going to use his name, he wanted to try it. So he actually got into the grain bin simulation and experienced what it's like to be entrapped and then the rescue. So throughout the footage you'll see how they are starting to rescue um, individuals from grain bins who are in this in this predicament and basically you will see that they are, have these tubes that or essentially it becomes a tube and there's different metal pieces that they put together that helps shovel that person out because there's so much pressure from the corn and it's weighing down on you that if you were to try and just pull someone out it's poten there's a potential that you could basically rip their body in half like you, they would break their their legs um, because there's just so much pressure from the corn or the beans pushing down on you that you pulling upward it would just it would break your bones um, but now they have this tube system that helps to allow firefighters to more safely get those individuals out of that situation and there's of course there's a lot of other precautions such as wearing harnesses when you go into a grain bin and having more than one person, you should never go alone. Now, what, at what point will he not be able to walk his way out of it? Oh, no. <laughs> so as you can see he got sunk in really quick basically it's like quicksand and you just sink and you can't move and <laughs> there's just it it was very very crazy to watch this happen in person you can see when he, when he moves right now you can see it just moves it flows like water Okay, see ya. <laughs> we'll tell you how the pizza was. <laughs> so at this point right now, we would use this tube if we had a if we had a victim that we could see like this. We're going to use it if we can't see him too, but there's going to be a couple things we're going to have to do first to do that. At our facilities, are okay? Can I talk for one? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, at our facilities, we've got a lot of concrete bins. We're not going to be able to cut relief cuts in that bin. We're going to have to dig and dig and dig. Go back, back, back. Um, in, a, in a metal bin like this, they can do relief cuts on opposite sides, relieve some of that pressure, let some of that out so they can find it, but you're probably going to end up doing this anyway. So what you are seeing right now is the beginning process of them putting together the tube system. So they chose to use all six pieces, but some only use four. But basically, you will completely surround the individual so that they can start digging themselves out if they're conscious, or if not, then you start helping them get out by yourself. Device, sparking, any kind of heat source, any kind of ignition source. You really don't want to have an explosion on top of this. But he's already having a really bad day. <laughs> So now you're seeing the individual 
dig himself out of the tube by just basically shoveling the corn out from around him. Um, so he is about waist, um, a little bit over waist deep, I think, um, maybe even up to the chest. And he, since his arms are free, he's able to do this. But in other situations where the person may be unconscious or may not have mobility at all, then the rescuers would have to actually get into the tube with them and start shoveling out all of the grain in order to hopefully get them out of the situation. Hey, hold on a second. I'll But he started out here, ended up about here, would you say? We moved, we moved out this much corn in the circle this big. Not hardly any corn at all. Glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right, guys, there you have it. There was my nice informational, hopefully, video about grain bin safety and some of the precautions that they take to ensure that everyone is safe and can continue going on about their lives. But I, I do thoroughly hope that you enjoyed this and kind of learned something about maybe a different side of agriculture that you've never really thought about because... Well, if you're any if you're anything like me and you're from a midwestern state, then you pass these things all the time and you may not really know why they're there or what they're doing. You may have a, may have had an idea that it's for storage and you know, it's farmers use those things and that's why they're there, but maybe you didn't realize how much of a risk goes into them using those storage units and making sure that everything is maintained properly. But like I said, I hope you learned something. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to leave them down below. And again, I can do some more research or, you know, have a conversation with you about my experience watching this happen. And, you know, any questions that I may have forgot to mention in this video, please leave down below. And I will respond as quickly as possible with accurate information. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this, give it a big thumbs up. Leave, like I said, leave some comments and subscribe down below as well if you want to watch some more videos of mine as I continue to create content. And um, thanks again for watching. Hopefully I will see you all next week in my next video. Have a great one and again, see you next time. Bye guys. As you can see, I've made myself some wonderful coffee. Um, the crows outside are setting the ambiance for this video, so that's cool. It's snowing. I got